Okay. I got one last question for you. Oh. I hope y'all like this interview because I know this is a little different. We're going viral. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. Okay. Um, dealing with this top 1% man, he has kids. <gasps> yep. How do you... God. How do you deal with a man that that has kids by someone else and you being the new girlfriend? How do you, you know, step into his life and accept that? <sighs> Next question. I know. I knew you were going to ask me this question. And I feel like I'm prepared for the answer. I do feel like I'm prepared. Okay. So I feel like... Um, I feel like when you're dealing with a person that has kids, it is so important for the man to set boundaries because I'm the kind of woman where um, I'm, I'm like anti Sarah to everybody. I'm a mm. maternal person. I love kids. I have two God babies. I have 12 nieces and nephews and they all know me. Like we mm. snuggle in the bed. We play all the things. My older nieces and nephews, we talking on the phone. We could talk about boys, all of the things like. I love, I love, and I love deep and I love real, which is why my circle is very small because I only have so much capacity, you mm -hmm. know? So when it comes to children, I feel like whatever my man says is really what I'm gonna trust. So if the man does not set the boundary, because a lot of the times, you know, you'll hear on both sides, maybe the man would say to the woman that's dating, I don't want them to meet my kids. Or the woman would say to the man, I don't want them to meet my kids because it hasn't been long enough or whatever the reasoning is. I think that it's very important for, in my case, because I'm the woman dating a man with kids because I don't have kids yet. I think that it's very important for the man to be able to say, thank you for how you feel. I appreciate your feedback. However, these are my kids too. And I'm gonna raise my kids too the way that I see fit. Mm -hmm. And I would never put my children into danger. I would never put my children into a situation that would harm them, right? And so I feel like whatever that looks like for my man, I'm gonna trust his lead as far as when it's time to meet the kids, to play with the kids, to do all the things with the kids because it really has nothing to do with me. Now, naturally, I wanna say, come over to the daughter, we could do your hair, let's watch movies, let's go get our nails done, uh, to the son, like, yeah, let's go in the pool, let's, like, naturally, that's what I want to do. So the challenge for me is by um, holding back, because that's not what I do, naturally. I would just, I'm a wave, I wanna just shh right over you, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but inside of this, I have to respect the boundaries that he puts in place. Um, and they have to respect the boundaries that they put in place. And I hope that it can be something that is cordial and it can be something that is, uh, what's the word? I don't know, it can just be simple, but in, in most cases, when dealing with emotions, mm -hmm. that's not always the case. And I think they're both emotional, you know? I feel like when you're dealing with a person and people try to position kids and, I've seen some really, and I've dated men with kids before. I dated a man with a kid before, and I'm not trying to be anyone's mom. I think that too is important. Like for me and her, I would love for us to have a respectful relationship one day. Like maybe we could all be at a barbecue mm -hmm. chilling. That would be dope to me because I'm not trying to take your place. Right. You know, I can never be those children's mother. I can't be their mother. You know, I could be, you know, Miss Sarah or whatever you want to call me because one is older than the other. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I would hope that whoever the woman, or I know who the woman is, with, with you, any situation, mm -hmm. right? Whoever that woman may be, <clears throat> that um, they know that your kids are safe with me, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna be the person that's paying more attention to their dad while your kids are there. I'm the kind of woman that's gonna be like, oh, we all need to play. You know, let's set up the kids' bedrooms. Let's make sure they have their favorite stuffed animals. Let's make sure they have their favorite snacks. Let's make sure we're doing things to keep themselves engaged. So I want to trust the lead of my man and it's really up to him. And if shit hits the fan, I believe it's his fault. And if it doesn't, then kudos to him. But I, uh, I am a bonus in this situation and bonuses aren't always necessary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like the bonus mom, mm -hmm. it's not always necessary. Bonus person, it's not always necessary. Mm -hmm. But it is sure nice to have. 
the option. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a struggle. I'm not. It's a challenge for sure. But at the end of the day, my challenge is holding back my who I want to be inside of their life mm -hmm. and being like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm walking a thin line. But I just have to respect it. I don't even know if I answered the question. Dating men with kids? I think so. <laughs> what is your answer? Because you don't have kids I yet either. Kids. Could you? You don't have kids? No, I don't. Oh, I was like, I thought you said I have kids. I was like, what? Mm -mm. How would? Could you date a woman with kids? Um, before my answer, maybe a year ago, uh, my answer would have been no. Um, and it's only because kids love me. Yeah. I love kids. Yeah. So when I meet kids, you know, it's just natural it's just natural for me to just gravitate towards me they gravitate towards me and yes. now we have this bond and you know me and your mom break up mm. now i gotta break up too mm. all right little man <laughs> can't play basketball no more <laughs> can't play baseball no more man and oh my god i don't I, I hate being in that position like yeah. so i mean i haven't dealt with many women too many women with kids mm -hmm. but um and another thing too like lately i've been meeting women with kids Mm -hmm. And I'm a little more open to it because, I mean, they're women and, you know, they're more nurturing, you know. Whoa, whoa, stop. Because I'm so tired of hearing okay, that. No, no, listen, listen. I'm so <laughs> sick of it. Okay, they that are. Not that you, no, they're not. Okay, well, listen. They're more motherly. <laughs> <laughs> they have kids. That does, they might be more motherly. That doesn't mean they're more nurturing. Okay, well, they're more motherly. And but do you want a mom in a relationship? No, I don't. No, so I don't. what are you talking about? It's, it's the, okay, anyway. No, we gotta talk about it. We, I'm not letting this one go because I'm so sick of hearing now, it. Not nurturing, but you know, women with kids, they're just a little more, um, I can't say all of them, you know, because I meet women I without kids. I don't have kids and I think I'm very nurturing. You and are. Loving but, but and loving kind. Everybody's not Sarah. I mean, I know, but that's because Sarah's Sarah. But mm -hmm. there's a lot of women out there that are... Mm -hmm. Nurturing, it's just women with and kids. kind and loving. It's just women with kids. You know, they they make sure you eat. You know, <laughs> it's just little things. I can't really explain it. But to I, my I man, haven't, I haven't <laughs> check him when you come on this show, okay? I Please really check dealt him. With too many women with kids, but um, yeah, lately I've been dealing with women with kids, and I I kind of accepted it a little more. But I don't meet their kids. How long do you have you dated them? What's the longest? It, this hasn't. It's, really been recently like a few months in type of situation like now. two three months or longer a couple months maybe a couple like weeks two. i just oh. i just been meeting well, I mean, women in two weeks you should meet somebody's kid. right i just been meeting women and i just so when do you think is the appropriate time to meet the kid i guess when we're serious when i actually become your man really yeah i can't just be oh he's your uncle you know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> have uncle. you been like the uncle before? no not yet no no <laughs> but, so you uh, feel like when you say you're my girlfriend. That's when it's like, all right, I'll meet your when kids. It, yeah, when it's serious. So then what if then you build a bond with these kids and then you have to say, all right, now, little we, man. We, have a, we can be forever friends now, at this point. How long does it take you to say, will you be my girlfriend? Do you ask girls, will you be my girlfriend? I just tell them. You just say you're my girlfriend now? Yeah. Shut the front door. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I asked somebody. No, I asked the last, my last girlfriend, I said, I asked her properly. You want to be my girlfriend? Oh. Awesome, sentimental shit. Everyone else, I love sentimental. Look, okay, guys, the sentimental stuff is winning out here. Okay, it is. I love sentimental. One time, I wrote on some. <laughs> I wrote the note that said, "Would you be my girlfriend?" With the boxes, on some, on some cute shit. I love that. It is very cute. <laughs> I love that. I think that's really cute. It is really. It worked cute. though. It worked. Yeah, of course it worked. And yeah. girls try to fake it like they don't like that stuff. We do, okay? Yeah. We do. We like romance. Mm -hmm. We like the cute, sentimental. Look, y'all, I'm talking to y'all. We like the cute, sentimental, romantic stuff is all I'm saying. Yeah. The good guys are still winning, guys. Yeah, I'm still a good guy when I want to be. My guy's a good guy. No, you're definitely a good guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, kids, challenge. 